good evening. Are your little brothers and sisters already in bed? I hope so. We are going on a late night excursion. It's actually not too late. It's about nine o'clock. One of your assignments as artists at Montlake is to always be thinking about the greater community and how you can make it more interesting, how you can make it more funny, how you can make it more engaging for the rest of the world, especially in the midst of a pandemic. This is a new challenge for us artists. No artist has ever faced this challenge. How to make a neighborhood that you're pretty much quarantined to for over two months now, how do you make that neighborhood more interesting? We've seen teddy bears in windows. We've seen some painted rocks around the neighborhood. Phase three, paper cranes to spread joy and love, and art walk posters. Not even necessarily an art walk poster, but a poster of art. We have Yayoi Kusama, who I believe is in lesson 11. The famous Yayoi, I did a portrait of her and I added a quote, because I always like to put a little writing in my message in case people don't really know who it is or what the message is. And I used her direct words. I wanted to start a revolution using art to build a society I envisioned for myself. Yayoi Kusama. Good quote, huh? We are kind of starting an art revolution. I did another one. This is more of a traditional art walk poster that you might see around the neighborhood this week. Busy hands or happy hands. What does that mean? It means when you're not doing anything with your hands or your mind, you kind of tend to get bored. And when you get bored, you become boring. We don't want to be boring. We always want to be working. We want to be making music, painting, reading, learning more about our world, and gardening. That's right. Plant an edible garden. Now is the time if you can. I also did some heroes in here. Dr. Fauci, you might have heard of him. He is one of the great scientific minds. And right now he is uh, consulting with a lot of governments and a lot of world leaders about how to see, keep all of us safe and what that timeline looks like. And so we're really listening to everything that Dr. Fauci says, very smart man. And I put a quote for him on here too. He says, science is telling us that we can do phenomenal things if we put our minds and our resources to it. I really like that, it gives me hope. I thought it might give other people hope too, so I'm putting that one up. Let's see, we have another, you know I love the mushrooms and Art Walk has always been uh, a garden walk too. This year not so much because the school garden is locked up, but there's always room for some mushrooms. Lionel Richie, this is classic. You might not know his music, but he was very popular when I was younger. And I painted a picture of him and it says, let the music take control. It was a song about a party and it was very popular. And I like the idea of letting the music take control. Sometimes in tough times we listen to music and it can transport us to a happier, better place. So if you're feeling sad or lonely, you can always put on some music. Lionel Richie it says, Montlake Elementary Art Walk all summer long. That's another reference to one of his songs. Last but not least, my favorite. This is one of our kindergarten students. I won't say his name in our YouTube video, but he is quite famous amongst the kindergarten. And he drew a self-portrait and a still life using two lessons from Schoology. Love how he combined that. And then he, too, used words to convey his message. Here's his message. If you are not feeling good, you should know that people are thinking of you. 
how is that for a message for all lonely people that walk past this fantastic, fantastic drawing, this fantastic masterpiece. When they see that, I guarantee you, every person that sees this is going to smile and have a, such a sense of warmth in their heart. It's really a great message for right now. I've got posters. I've laminated them. I know you probably don't have a laminator at home. I kind of cheated because I know there's a lot of rain coming. Staple gun, probably with barely enough staples, but I'm going to take it with me. I've got some black clothing on. I've got my pink Women's March hat on that I had before the Women's March, but it's always good to have a pink hat in your closet. I am going to go sneak around the neighborhood now and put up some signs. Come along with me. Are you still with me? I'm here in the neighborhood. I'm looking for a great spot that will get a lot of attention. Come with me. Keep your eyes peeled for raccoons. Here I am, staple gun in hand. The coast is clear, although I don't think it's illegal to put a sign on a telephone pole. Got to take big, strong grip to get this thing going. You might. Here I am at the corner of Mont Lake. I've got the posters up. They look good. There's Dr. Fauci. Here's something about encouraging you to read and write and plant. There's Lionel Richie and look at Mr. Moore has left some artwork as well. Good job, Mr. Moore. Well, my job is done here tonight. Time to get home and tuck everybody in. Thanks for sneaking out with me and putting up some posters. I'm gonna do more of the same tomorrow. Nighty night. Greetings, my army of artists. Thank you for joining me. Last night I took you on a secret excursion, one that involved guerrilla art, postering with a staple gun, messages put out to the world for anyone to read, artwork for anyone to like or dislike, it doesn't really matter because I'm not standing there watching their expression. I just know the joy that it gives me hanging something up with the knowledge that someone might walk by and smile when they see it. Today, I'm going to kind of go through the creative process with you to get some ideas generated for how you can make your own Guerrilla art poster. Guerrilla art means basically that you're putting it up um, kind of secretly. You're going up, maybe it's late at night or maybe none of your neighbors are watching and you put up a picture. In this case, I'm busy tying lots of origami uh, cranes around the neighborhood. It's kind of your secret art installation. Not asking anyone's permission, just doing it. And there's some great satisfaction as artists when we get to hang something up in public for the world to experience on their own. It's a little different than showing your parents your work and having it taped up on the fridge or hung up uh, on a wall. It's kind of almost a better feeling than that. I always love this time of year when I get to go around Montlake and beyond Montlake because I do like to put up um, our work beyond the neighborhood so that everyone knows the greatness of our school. Last night I spent time uh, putting up posters. These are the unpainted versions that I showed you last night. Uh, some of them have messages. This one is an advertisement for Art Walk and it really hopes, I hope it motivates kids and adults because adults need art just as much as kids and adults need to be painting just as much as you need to be painting. So. Don't be shy about pulling any of the adults in your house into these projects. Um, these are without paint, and I have the good fortune to get to use the copy machine at school, so I like to make a bunch of black and whites, and then I come home and paint them. So this one's an advertisement. This one is an artist named David Bowie. Some of you might know him. Does this look exactly like him? No, I didn't say that it did. It's my version of David Bowie, and he went through 
uh, a time in his life where he thought he was from outer space and so he would always dress as an alien and he did a big like a big sun on his forehead it was kind of cool uh, and I can change and add words to this sometimes I like to just add a song lyric or something that he's said to inspire people you know the Ruth Bader Ginsburg poster. I put this one up last night as well. She is one of the Supreme Court Justice judges. She's an amazing woman. She's in her late 80s, I think. We tied some origami cranes up around the neighborhood hoping that she would get better. She was in the hospital for a little bit and I think those cranes worked because she's out of the hospital and she's back standing up for the law and all the right things in the world. So I made a poster with her and I thought, you know what, it's a good time to remind people to wear masks. We're starting um, our third month of quarantine and it's still just as important to wear masks and protect all of our young, young and old, all of our loved ones. So I'm gonna add some paint to her tonight, but I thought I'd start off with um, just some brainstorming. And I thought of all the posters I've made over eight years, I've done everything. I've done everything that I love to do. Um, but I thought of this one thing. I had a little idea. I thought about, um, I always like to do animals and plants because those always seem to appeal to a big audience of people. And I thought, what is something that is so unique to Montlake? And the one thing that I always think about when I think of Montlake, when I'm walking around the neighborhood, when I'm looking out the window, when I'm sitting here making art, the crow. The crow is such a iconic bird in our part of the city. The UW studies the uh, families of crows, I believe, that live in the Arboretum, and they're just a really intelligent, interesting bird very interesting bird and I thought you know what I'm gonna make a poster with a crow on it so I found a great old book I've got a lot of good books around the house don't ever get rid of your big old books the older the better old books even have a certain scent sort of a little bit moldy Smells like it's been in someone's library for a long time. This is a great old reference book, which is one of my favorite things to use for drawing from. I have a whole bunch of different uh, reference books and field guide books, and I always like to have those laying around the house so that when I want to draw something as realistically as I can, I have a good book to pull out. I am going to start out my poster with a reference of, an, uh, of a crow. I'm going to take a couple of old brushes, clean this time. I've got double Sumi inks out, my favorite. Always love a good black line. I know some of you like to do those light pencil lines. That's not for me. I'm a hard, hard presser. I like to press down hard with my funny hand grip. Remember, don't worry about what your teacher or your parents think about your hand grip. You can hold your pencil or your pen or your paintbrush any way you like as long as you can hold it. Mine, I hold it almost like a caveman, but it hasn't stopped me from enjoying a lifetime of making art. Okay, so I've got my white piece of paper. White works best with uh, a nice black ink, but you can use a paper bag like teacher, uh, like some of the teachers at school did, like Miss Jude. She did uh, some paintings on a paper bag, which is a great heavy paper, durable. Um, and I'm just going to kind of visualize, visualize it. I know some of you like to use a pencil. I like to just lay it down. And my mistake that I make is my mistake that I own and have to work with. I always like to start out with my eye. You might figure out you could do anything. The cool thing about a poster is, is it's your message to everyone, and it could be a message that only you understand. It could be a message only you understand. It's not a message that your teacher told you. It's not a message that your little brother needs to get. It's just something that you wanna tell the neighborhood. And in these times, I kinda of wanna tell the neighborhood a positive message. You don't have to. 
Yours can just be a funny. I think this poster that I'm making right now is going to be more for Art Walk because I've been making a lot of posters that are just more like things that I like to draw. And um, I really wanna advertise all of the great work that I know is starting to turn up in the neighborhood. I've seen some really great, great offerings hanging up. And every time I see a new one, there's a few up at school right now. Makes my heart a little fuller. I'm gonna keep working on this ink drawing. I usually like to draw my picture first and then add the words around it. Um, try to think of something funny that maybe has to do with the event that I'm talking about or a song that reminds me of something to do with the picture. Uh, I'll come to it. I'm gonna think of work on my picture first and then I'll be thinking about the words that I wanna add. Let's meet back in about 10 minutes. Get your art supplies out. Can be whatever you like to work on, whatever tool you like to use to draw, and we'll come back and see where we're at, okay? All right, get busy. Hi kids, coming to you live from behind Trick or Treat Street. It's very late at night. There are so many bunnies out. They're all over the place. It's just like me, my camera crew, my whiny puppy who's afraid of the dark, and an empty staple gun. That's right. I had staples in my pocket and I bent over to pick up some work and they all slipped out in the grass. So I'm heading home. I've posted a little bit of Trick or Treat Street and now I'm gonna sneak out of the alley and get back home. Good night, thanks for coming along. More later. Hey kids, I'm back from my secret mission. I ran out of staples. That means the mission is over and I have to walk home. Plus Ingrid's getting tired, so am I. I wanna show you my finished poster. Is it a little grim? I don't know. I just used black and white tonight because um, I was feeling like it. And actually I made a mistake on this and so I had to add in some gray clouds. I did a big blob of black ink right on that A. Anyway, I tried to patch it up. Maybe no one will notice. Montlake Art Walk, the show must go on. The show has to go on. As entertainers, as artists, the show has to go on. Uh, and it has to go on alone but together. We're all here. We're just not in the same room or in the same building, but we will be. This too shall pass, my friends. Thanks for joining me on another late night edition of In the Art Studio with Miss Lundgren. Get your artwork up, I beg of you. I beg of you on my hands and knees. Get your artwork up, get your message out there. The world needs you now more than ever, I'd say. Much love, see you soon, stay safe.